sleeping Godzilla underneath Yellowstone that if it erupts in a maximum eruption called Category 8, it could literally tear the guts out of the United States of America. Renowned physicist Michio Kaku has just dropped a bombshell about the menacing Yellowstone supervolcano, hinting at the possibility of a cataclysmic size 8 eruption. The implications of such an event are staggering, as it could reshape our very existence. What does this mean for the world as we know it? Can we predict the unpredictable? And what measures can we take to safeguard ourselves from this cataclysmic threat? Get ready to explore the chilling possibilities and uncover the truth beneath Yellowstone's surface. Yellowstone National Park, a true gem of America, holds a world of amazing wonders and captivating wildlife within its vast expanse. Established in 1872 by President Ulysses S. Grant, Yellowstone was the first national park in the United States. Covering a total area of 2.2 million acres across three states, Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, this natural wonderland is even larger than the combined areas of Rhode Island and Delaware. Yellowstone has been a magnet for adventure seekers, nature enthusiasts, and tourists for over a century. Whether you're a keen hunter, an avid angler, or simply a lover of Mother Nature's incredible creations, this park has something in store for you. In 2021 alone, a staggering 4,860,538 visitors flocked to the park, setting an all-time record. With numbers like that, you would wonder what attracts the visitors, right? Well, we have some answers for you. First up on our list of must-see attractions is the world-renowned Upper Geyser Basin, a true hotbed of geothermal wonders. With its impressive collection of over 150 geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles, this basin is an absolute treat for the senses. And at the heart of it, all stands the mighty Old Faithful, the park's most famous geyser. This natural phenomenon erupts, shooting boiling water high into the sky with impeccable precision. It's a sight people don't often forget. Next is the majestic Grand Canyon of Yellowstone, a rugged masterpiece carved by the forces of nature. From the vibrant hues and sheer magnitude of this breathtaking canyon, to the two magnificent waterfalls that grace its depths, which are the Lower Falls, a towering cascade twice as tall as Niagara Falls, and the Upper Falls, an elegant plunge of 109 feet, the beauty of the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone is enough to have tourists mesmerized for hours. For wildlife enthusiasts, the Lamar Valley is their beloved destination. Known as America's Serengeti, this region of Yellowstone is a haven for diverse wildlife, including herds of majestic buffalo roaming freely. Once home to the legendary Druid Wolf Pack, this is where their captivating story unfolded. But the Lamar Valley isn't just about wolves, it's a thriving ecosystem that hosts pronghorn antelope, elk, coyotes, and bears. Then we have the enchanting Midway Geyser Basin, a small but mesmerizing corner of Yellowstone. Here you'll encounter the iconic Grand Prismatic Hot Spring, a photographer's dream. Picture yourself standing before this vibrant wonder, a 120-foot deep pool adorned with vivid hues of cerulean, fiery reds, yellows, and oranges. It's a sight that will transport you to another world. Now you know why thousands of tourists troop to the park every year. And that's not all. We also have the legendary Excelsior, once the largest geyser on Earth, whose legacy lives on in this remarkable basin. But what sets Yellowstone apart from any other place on Earth is its geothermal activity. Born from the powerful Yellowstone caldera, the simmering heat of a supervolcano lurking beneath the park's surface. Beneath the feet of these thousands of yearly visitors, ancient forces shape the landscape, gifting us with the remarkable geysers, hot springs, and other geothermal wonders that make this park unique. Now, imagine how horrified millions of these tourists and other intending ones were to hear Michio Kaku announce that this magnificent nature wonderland is shutting. For some, it seems like a dream chartered just in the nick of realization. However, before we go into Michio Kaku's announcement, let us take a moment to learn more about the supervolcano. Beneath the serene beauty of Yellowstone National Park lies a force of nature that's both breathtaking and terrifying, the mighty supervolcano. A mighty volcanic system lies in wait, hidden beneath the ground in northwestern Wyoming, stretching its fiery reach into Idaho and Montana. 
While the surface of Yellowstone may seem tranquil and picturesque, the hot molten rock simmering beneath keeps volcanologists on their toes. Since 1923, scientists have meticulously studied volcanic activity, closely monitoring the ground above. Their observations have revealed fascinating details like the land swelled approximately 25 centimeters between 2004 and 2009. Before you start packing your bags, it's important to note that Yellowstone's supervolcano is currently dormant, with minimal signs of instability. However, recent subsurface activity has sparked a glimmer of concern. In case you are asking why, it is simply because the last eruption from this mighty beast was a thousand times more powerful than the devastating 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens, which wreaked havoc in Washington and Oregon. So while we can't predict the exact moment this behemoth will awaken, it's a force we must watch. Fortunately, a league of dedicated scientists is diligently working to unravel the secrets of Yellowstone's supervolcano. Their mission? To better understand the volcano's behavior and, hopefully, predict its next eruption. While we can't forecast the exact timing, we're gaining valuable insights into the volcano's recharging process. Like a gas refill, the magma chambers beneath Yellowstone are replenished with molten rock from the Earth's mantle. Experts can estimate the amount of deadly magma being pumped into the supervolcano's chambers by monitoring this magma influx. Now let's bust a common myth about supervolcanoes, shall we? Contrary to popular belief, not every volcano with a super-eruption in its past is destined to erupt on the same scale again. In fact, only a handful of volcanoes have achieved such super-status. To earn the coveted title of super, a volcano must have experienced at least one eruption spewing over 240 cubic miles of material, twice Lake Erie's volume. It's the highest score on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, VEI, a scale used to measure an eruption's explosiveness. So is there any cause to be worried about the Yellowstone supervolcano? In the words of the world-renowned physicist Michio Kaku, the Yellowstone supervolcano seems to be gearing up for a size 8 eruption. Researchers at Washington State University have corroborated this announcement further. They believe that these magma chambers play a vital role in the eruption process. As the chambers fill to the brim, tension builds, and the landform teeters on the precipice of eruption. Whether it's within months or several millennia after a recharge, the moment arrives when the chambers burst, unleashing a cataclysmic eruption. Picture this, a staggering 240 cubic miles, 1,000 cubic kilometers, of magma shooting skyward, forever altering the landscape. Furthermore, a 100 feet wide fissure was discovered in the Teton region of Yellowstone Park in Wyoming. The Teton's rugged beauty is the product of four geological processes, including hard rocks in the core, vertical uplift, the recent development of mountains, and dynamic forces of erosion. While other mountains in Wyoming also contain these characteristics, the Tetons are the state's youngest mountain range, dating from less than 10 million years ago, and have not yet seen the same level of erosion. Despite the mountain's tough rocks, effective carrying organizations transfer the rock debris away from the mountains to avoid burying lower slopes. So what is the plan to stop this or reduce its impact? When we think about the Yellowstone supervolcano, our imaginations run wild with images of apocalyptic eruptions and widespread devastation. But fear not because NASA has a daring plan to save the day. Experts suggest that a super eruption is unlikely. A smaller volcanic event with lava flows is more probable. However, in a massive eruption, the consequences could be catastrophic. We're talking about an eruption that's 1,000 times more powerful than your average volcanic outburst, spewing forth a mind-boggling 240 cubic miles of material and lasting for weeks or even months. So what's the plan? Well, NASA proposes a bold strategy to cool down the Yellowstone supervolcano and prevent a super eruption. Their plan involves drilling deep into the belly of the beast, up to six miles beneath Yellowstone National Park. They believe they can effectively cool the volcano by pumping in water at high pressure, saving us all from disaster. Now let's address the risks involved. This audacious mission comes with a hefty price tag of $3.46 billion. It's not exactly pocket change. Moreover, drilling into the top of the magma chamber is a risky business. However, NASA scientists suggest a safer approach, drilling from the lower sides, where the risks can be minimized. 
But here's where things get interesting. Funding this ambitious plan could be partially achieved by harnessing the immense heat of the supervolcano. A geothermal power plant utilizing volcanic heat as a resource generates electricity at incredibly low costs of around 10 cents per kilowatt hour. That sure sounds like a win-win situation. However, let's not forget that taming a supervolcano is no easy feat. This is a slow and arduous process, progressing at a snail's pace, however, of just one meter per year. In fact, it would take tens of thousands of years to fully cool the volcano, and even then, success is not guaranteed for hundreds or even thousands of years. So, while NASA's plan offers a glimmer of hope, here's a very important fact. Of the roughly 5,000 eruptions recorded over the past 10,000 years, not a single one has been designated a VEI-8, the highest magnitude. These mighty eruptions are truly rare, with only 42 eruptions in the past 36 million years reaching VEI-8 or High 7. So, while the potential for a supervolcanic eruption exists, it's not an everyday occurrence. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share it with friends. Want more excitement? Simply click the next video on your screen. Thanks for watching.